Hello, my Sagittarians. How are you? My name is Misty the Mystic. My angels, guides, and I welcome you to Sugarfoot Tarot. This is for your singles love Sagittarians for May 2020. And please check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign. And um, we have a full moon on the 7th, new moon on the 22nd, and it goes into... Um, Gemini season the 21st and um, when I was meditating on my Sagittarians um, love was coming in something fast and furious and what fell out as I was meditating was yes someone definitely is coming in um, for you so my singles you're not going to stay single could be a water sign could be just somebody that's just really going to um, reach in there and just grab your soul and just get you um so very nice let's go ahead and put this back in the deck and shall we get started oh my goodness i pushed i purchased these gorgeous flowers and they smell so good i wish you all could smell them oh my goodness Okay, my Sagittarius, your flowers are daffodils. That just was, that just happened. It just happened to be in the store when I purchased them. But May 2020, Sagittarius's love, singles, and hello to all my cross watchers as well. Let's cut the deck. Bottom of the deck. Four of coins. So you are holding on. You're holding on to um, past. You're holding on to... Um, Feelings and thoughts and patterns. Exes. I don't think it's you're holding on to the exes. I think you're holding on to how they made you feel or what happened. Um, definitely we're in the earth modality. So we're slowing down. You know, Taurus is ruled by Venus. And we're loving Mother Earth and we're being grounded. So, you know, I've, what I've told everybody is I see every single one of the signs. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Um, taking their shoes off, putting their feet in the green grass, getting out and about. They are going to lift our stay-at-home band around the middle of May, most certainly at the end of May around Gemini season. They're going to open it, so we'll be out and about. But you're holding on. Um, you're holding on to uh, how the past has made you feel. Um, very interesting. So definitely healing is is needed. The moon. So there's some drama. There's some secrets. There's something, there's some illusion that uh, my singles are, I think it goes back to you're trying to put a happy face on, but there's some sadness of just being home and staying home and you possibly could have children and um, your brain is just not turning off and you're just remembering all the past. And um, I'm hoping by the 7th of May, you can really work and let that go with the moon and just be like, you know what? I'm over it. That's the past. I've learned. They've learned. Um, so there's definitely some illusion going on. Oh, but the wheel of fortune. So everything is changing. Good things are coming. Like I said, I saw someone coming in for everybody. And um, you are, you're doing your shadow work. And I know that's unpopular now, but that's how I see it. You're going in. You're digging deep. You're bringing all of this pain and anguish up to the surface and you're really you're you're shining your light on it and um you're gonna let this go good things the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor Ooh, cool. well okay so you could be dealing with a capricorn this is my capricorn card but um whew. most certainly you're um Someone is codependent on you or you're codependent on them. People might be clinging to you as well. I know this is a love read, so this is definitely exes, people that like you. Um, you could be codependent. You could be holding on to something that isn't ready to be caught. Um, yeah, that's definitely something that you need to work on or they need to work on to quit holding on to you. And um, you want it all. There's something you're missing. There's there's a there's a clue that you're missing that you want to tap into to help heal, help be successful, find that perfect love. Maybe you've you've had a lot of relationships and they've not worked out, um, and so you're holding on to that grief. Um, 
that's what the, you know, the illusion, the illusion, and that's all karmic from past lives and contracts. You know, once you decide to let that contract go and you want to start this whole life over, you can most certainly heal from your ancestors' past lives, your past lives, this current life in the past and change that and change the whole future for yourself and your, and your children, your grandchildren, your future children. Um, I don't have any children, so I definitely am not coming back on this earth. But, you know, you can definitely heal from all of this. That's, that's, and I saw someone coming in. That was a card that fell out. So, someone is definitely going to be coming in. They may be younger than you. Or you may be, or they may be much older than you. This is my fire sign, so this could be you. So, I think that you're ready to uh, let go let go of the past. And so there is someone out there that, that definitely is going to catch your eye and you're going to give them a try. Give it a try. This life is very short. You're going to blink. It's going to be over. So continue to heal. I love you. Until next month, my Sagittarians, recycle the love. Bye-bye.